Hey there, it's Casey Cole Corbin, and I'm going to do a new form of spin art using a salad spinner. I like to use these 4x4 tiles uh, to show people how it works. So this will be a good one for demonstrating. It's a little hard though. <laughs> I think something's not lined up right. There we go. That's yeah, spinning quite well in there. So, I just wish we could see what's going on. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of this blue. And this itself is an experiment because it is um, actually just colorant inside a um with uh inside a flow trough that's just it and i have a mixture that's already here close the door for me wow this is really sealed <laughs> i think the paint has dried on it ah i have to switch ideas there okay so this is going to be a um the mixture of an orange color and I'm pretty sure that that is all the part of paint that is, because uh, it's sat like this. Uh, one second. I need to pour this stuff out. Sorry about that. Needed a container to pour this off of the top. All right, so then I'm going to now do that um, tree pour. We we'll get the tree rings. And several layers of that. Okay, that'll be more paint than what I need. And I also got me a brand new, uh, I've been using a propane torch, and so this is a butane torch, so I can see just how this works. I have to return it because it is not lighting on its own. I'm having to use this. Oh, and it did on its own, of course. for cells in all the wrong places. I'm going to turn up the gas. Ooh, right, it's burning. So I'm not getting much cell work on that. And here's where we're going to ruin the salad spinner. I'm sorry, I wish I could video this for you. Do. Wow. <laughs> that is really hard. <laughs> I think. Wow. It's moved a little bit. Not the way I wanted to, though. So the spinner has spun, and you can see all kinds of paint along the outside. I have to keep it above this tray because there's holes in the bottom. Some of the blue is starting to come out there, and one of the things that I'm wanting to experiment is, is that Emily says you don't have to use any dimethicone whenever you spin. So there is some dimethicone in here, but I am really excited about playing with some paints and not using any dimethicone. And so I am getting some, that's the dimethicone causing that to come up, and the blue coming into there. Let me hold it up for you so you can see that as it's developing. Spinning created a layered effect and um, uh, also thinned out those layers so that they can do that. So I'm going to spin it again. And it's going to go 
crazy with this thing. Gotta get it just right, otherwise it throws two fits. So a lot more came off of the tile this time. Quite sure it's still drippy. And we're getting some cool wave-like patterns there. So that's kind of neat. Um, not a whole lot because there's not a differentiation of uh, color. Now I do have some white mix over here. Uh, just to continue the plane with this white mix has no dimethicone in it. So let's just see what that does. That's kind of cool. Let's see what the torch does. It doesn't want to start for me. There we go. Oh yeah. Get particularly that white. It looks like a leaf, like a maple leaf. So let's see what happens when we spin it again. Right, let me give you a close up of that. One more spin. Okay. Well, that's different. Look at there. It's kind of cool. Making me want to play with it some more. Put a little white now in the center. Or the blue, which does not have, it's not really paint. See what kind of effects we get. Ha! <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's a neat cell work. Really pretty color too. And of course we must torch it. And then I think we should spin it crazily one more time, which thing? say that I don't really like how consistent it is I like for it to be a little a little off try this is the same kind of deal only in purple Meaning that it is just purple colorant and flow trial, that's it. All right. Mm 
Ciao. What do you think, Gus? It's awesome. That's pretty cool. I think we should torch it and spin it again. What do you think? Um, that place, like, where you said, like, it looked like a maple leaf, like, in those uh -huh. comics, it actually looked like one of those exploding uh, bombs. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. More like an exploding bomb in the maple leaf. Torch it. Yeah. yeah. I kind of am almost resenting the orange now. Yeah. Catch it up. No, hold it down. Oh, I can't do it. Just there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Don't know if there's enough layers there to get a torch on or to have any kind of effect on it. It just um, had some cells right there. Did it? Okay. Well, who knows, it might do even some more things. One of the neat things about the spinning is, is that we're always trying to manipulate the white to go over colors. So, so I'm just doing this as a learning thing. Okay, you can try. mostly contained and so I'm not really too worried like I'm wearing not using my junk clothes so that's kind of cool it's all right not really a big fan of the orange underneath there but with that yellow I mean excuse me that white I'm wondering if it's going to you want to torture it torch the white parts keep it, keep it moving though Circles. There you go. Let me hold it a second. Feel hot? Yeah. All right. Well, it's interesting. And one thing that I want to see with all this is. Is what the, how fast the spinner actually creates it is what happens if you just use normal paint? It look like normal paint. So this is well it's a artist loft low acrylic gold and so it's uh it's not mixed, meaning that there's not a a uh, go ahead. <laughs> Meaning that that gold paint did not have any flow troll in it. <laughs> you like that? Awesome. <laughs> well, I happen to have some silver right next to it. Looks it. Like, um, it looks like one of those ninja stars after you. Oh, around. does it? That looks like to you. Remember, it's going to go outwards. So I'm just going to put a drop. Yeah. 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 And I would use my other colors, but I have set up for an art class tomorrow morning, and in another city. And so it is um, inaccessible to me right now. So I'm having to go to these uh, paints that I just had, weird, weird paints that I had on my shelf here. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, it didn't really spring. Nope, not yet. Just get it going, just go faster. That <laughs> looks like it's really hard. If you're pressing too hard, it's not pressed too hard. Let me try to. 
Spinner fun with seven year olds. RLR. Show we torch it. Who's picks two? I wonder why that is. Name it the gray parts, silver parts. Like any kind of movement, but there is not really a mix there. There's thick stuff. So, we'll all. It's, with no dimethicone in it, we probably won't get any kind of movement with the white either, even though this is mixed. So there's not any kind of dimethicone in either the gray and the other one. Just push in. Okay. Yeah, right, probably there. It just goes down a little bit. Okay. Oh, push down. You push that one in. Now you don't have to keep it down. Oh. What happened? Several layers, but most of them have probably been flung off hyperspeed by now. You are getting dumped, dumped off them. Getting a little crooked. Alright, see? Okay. You can see there's tiny cells everywhere. Yeah, I don't know that it's going to develop any though. This, this might be the end of it. <clears throat> so, with that said, and we got the salad spinner, which if I don't wash it good, we'll probably never do it again. Hold up. It's the blue. Can you open the other blue? Where is it? I don't have another blue. I'll tell you what. Incorporate that orange back in. Orange! Do you like orange? Alright, do it. Careful to get paint on you. Okay, put it in there. There you go. I think I want to pronounce this done. Finger tag. That's hot. Don't do it too early. Make sure you got it and then do that. Alright, well, salad spinner. I'm um, doing the spinning process. Hope you enjoyed that. This is Casey Cole Corbin and Gus! Yeah! Now that they can see you. <laughs> Alright, say goodbye, Gus. Bye. Alright.